Hi friends, welcome back to my channel Classes for You. Today's topic is about surface area and volume of cuboid. In this uh, video, I will tell some formula and by using this formula, how you can solve your problem. And this video is basically for class 8, 10, 9. So please watch carefully. Okay, so let's go to our video. one cuboid it will be more clear to you how to differentiate length breadth and height see here i need this as length you can find here this as length this will be your breadth and this is your height okay so first i will explain about surface area surface area friends means the complete sum of the complete area of six faces see here you will find how many faces 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 so you can say surface area is the sum of area of all six faces here see for this so friends we will find the formula for surface area see friends here we have to consider some rectangular area of rectangular faces okay surface area for this first i will consider this rectangular face here you will find its l into h so what is the area of rectangle generally you know that l into b that is you know uh, area of rectangle so here i have to consider six rectangular faces we have to find first its area then i will tell surface area so in this phase what you will find its area is l into h l into h plus its opposite phase again will be same that is l into h plus area of this figure okay area of this figure is b into h i can say b into h plus its opposite side is same so its area is b into h Plus, now as surface area covers all the six, area of all the six faces, so I have to consider its top and bottom also. So, top area is L into B plus again bottom will be same that is L into B. So, what is uh, uh, your surface area or your total surface area you can say? That is LH plus LH plus BH plus BH plus LB plus LB. So here friends you will find two times of LH, two times of BH and two times of LB. So take out two as common. Now you can write LH plus BH plus LB. So in this way you can um, Using this formula, you can find out the solution. See here, take a, here I told one example. Let my length is 5 cm. Okay. Breadth is 3 cm. And height is 2 cm. So, by using this, you can find your total surface area. That is 2 into L into B, L into H means 5 into 2 plus B into H that is 3 into 2 plus L into B that is 2 into or B is with L into B means L is your 5 and B is your 3. Okay. So in this way you can find your total surface area 5 to the 10 plus 6. Plus, so how much this one? 5 to is a 15. So friends, in this way you can find your total surface area. What is the final answer friends? 25 plus uh, 6 that is 31. So your answer is, what is your answer I can say? So friends, your answer will be 2 into 31 that is... Uh, 62 square units 
Always remember you have to write square units whenever you need to find area. For volume, you need to write cubic unit. Okay, there is difference in, in the units. Whenever you have to write about area, you, you, you need to write square units. So this is about surface area. We will see lateral surface area also. Friends, lateral surface area means it covered only the four sides, the four rectangular faces excluding top and bottom. Okay, see here example. Here I can say if this is a cuboid, your lateral surface area only covers these four faces excluding top and bottom. So for that also, formula is again very easy. You have to exclude this area and this area. You have to include only this four, area of these four faces. See, see that formula. Let's go to this video about lateral surface area. What I say, friends, in this you have to ex exclude top and the bottom. Only you have to in include the area of the four faces. That is, your L and H will be there. Okay. And these two area, that is B and H, means side faces will be there. Means this face I uh, include and this face. So this one will be there. So what I have to exclude, this L into B. Means why? Because this covers the top and the bottom. So I will exclude this one. What you will get? LH plus LH BH plus BH. Means again you find two times. So you can write two. And here you see friends, your H is common in both of them. So you can write 2H and L plus B. So in this way you can find your lateral surface area. Maybe you get uh, clear about this lateral surface area and surface area because there is difference friends. So again you can solve by using this that is L is your 5 cm, B is 3 cm and H is 2 cm. So put this value your H is 2 uh, and L is how much 5 and B is 3. So you can find it is a 4 and 5 plus 3, 8. So you will get 32 square units. Okay. So remember this formula. It will be very useful to you. Now we will see volume. So friends, we will start with volume of cuboid. Volume means, see friends, volume of cuboid means how much this amount or space is occupied by this cuboid that is your volume means how much space it occupied you can say so how much space of this, uh, this occupied this cuboid we will see see volume always means the product of its dimension what you find here its dimension length breadth and height so l into b into h so this is your volume of cuboid. Here as I told volume means you have to see the amount of space of that particular shape occupied. So here as my L is 5 cm, B is uh, 3 cm and height is 2 cm. So put this value what you will get 5 into 3 into 2. So you have to do multiply here. 5 3 is a 15, 15 2 is a 30. Okay. So friends remember here in this you have to put in cubic units. As I told volume will be why because see here centimeter into centimeter into centimeter means length is having unit as centimeter breadth is having centimeter and height is having centimeter so when you multiply these three you you will get cubic centimeter 
means in volume will always be in cubic form okay so thanks for watching this video this will be very useful by using this formula you can find out your volume or suppose if volume is given and any of these two dimensions suppose breadth and height is given you have to find length so again this formula is very useful so watch my friends if you like my video please share it and like it and subscribe it also and if you want more videos on any topic so please let me know okay i will make more videos so thank you